What's going on everyone? Welcome to another video. Now I'm just out the front of my grandfather's grave here and I come to visit here just to reflect on how impermanent life is and how fleeting it is. And I want to talk to you about the time period that my grandfather died. It was probably the lowest point for me. I was running around with a firearm down my trousers, quite paranoid, drug fueled, and I'd backed myself into a corner psychologically and just in my environment. Very, very tough time for me. I actually was arrested by the police. That was my first experience with prison. I went straight to solitary confinement. I was under suicide watch and I was released on house arrest. Now, it was really bizarre because it was a few days after my grandfather had died. It was almost like it stopped me in my tracks. And on house arrest is where the seed was planted for veganism. And then later on, I was sentenced to prison where I served my six months in prison. I got sober, was released. And while I was on parole, the seed that was planted in my mind sprouted and I become vegan. Today is World Vegan Day. It's my five year vegan anniversary. Bizarre that I went vegan on World Vegan Day unconsciously. I didn't know till the year after that it was World Vegan Day. And it's safe to say that I've got a lot achieved since I went vegan five years ago. Now when I first started advocating, I had this fire inside of my chest. I remember it was right here and it was almost like I'd spent so much of my life taking and you know, causing people pain and suffering around me and just creating this negative energy and causing my mum stress and my family, my grandparents. And I wanted to give back since I'd had almost a second chance at life. And I thought, what type of legacy do I want to leave behind? Do I want to leave behind that horrible past or do I want to do something better? And the fire was here and it was almost like it was burning. Every single day I'd wake up after a nap and it's almost like, oh my God, I've just wasted that day. My death is imminent, you know what I mean? Life is fleeting. So if anyone else has that fire inside of their chest, never deny yourself the chance to spread it because that's your purpose and it's calling out to you as mine was calling out to me. Now, where to from here? I've been reflecting on my advocacy online and I remember when I first started to do my street outreach online. I was a pioneer of, you know, putting a microphone on here and going out and doing my street activism. I was just wondering, do you sell any koala meat? Koala? Are you, Are you serious? Would you eat a three-year-old child? <laughs> so do you think that because we think we're superior to animals that that makes that okay? We're animals. One of the first vegans on YouTube to do the street interviews, the one who inspired me was Martin from Think About This, but this was a few years ago. No one else was really doing that. Now we have a wave of online street activism being filmed and posted on YouTube, which is amazing that so many have been inspired but one thing for me is that I feel like my channel is losing its originality, which is why I want to step it up a notch, keep stepping it up and keep raising the bar, which is what we started to do with the Vegan Prophecy series. They say their cause is compassion for animals. What's going on in there is an injustice. Jeremy did wind me up a little bit, which I feel like it's justified passion. I mean, if you'd seen what I'd seen, you'd feel the same way. A lot of these comments are from vegan activists. Uh, rape, murder and slavery, okay? What happens so to your I, cows you mind after, if I What happens you to mind? your cows when they cannot produce milk anymore? But I'm not going to deny that that is rape. I will never deny that that is rape. Now for me, I'd never worked harder on, you know, touring and putting together videos as I did with that vegan prophecy series and I really do feel like it did raise the bar a lot. Along with the Dominion Tour series, I mean that was getting into the more comprehensive vibe of what it's like to be a full-time activist. Just live but I still think the bar can be raised again, which is what my next announcement is. I will be taking this fire inside of my chest to light up the world, and I'm going to Europe. Now, originally I was going to go to another country. I had some problems with my visa. Europe is where I'll be going, and I'll be enlisting the help of an old friend of mine. Abdullah Zainab of the Glucose Network. Now me and Abdullah, we've worked on some projects before in the past. He filmed the Change documentary, which went through and documented my past of gangs and my transition to a vegan activist. To be shown no mercy, get their head cut off, <laughs> just so someone can have a sandwich. We stand together in solidarity for animal liberation and we'll march into the streets and make sure our voices are heard. 
This guy has a very good work ethic and he'll really help bring my vision into fruition. So we are both very motivated for this. We're going to around 14 countries in three weeks. It's gonna be huge, bigger than I've ever done. We're gonna really put ourselves on the line here. So you might be asking, well, Joey, when does all this start? We're leaving on Tuesday. It's gonna be huge from November the 7th to November the 29th. We can't wait. I plan it really drop of the hat. We've had a lot of help in the background. So please keep an eye out for this new series. We're gonna put a lot of work into it. So we don't know when the first one's coming out, but this is just a preemptive little teaser, an announcement. And if anyone would like to support us while we're on the tour, you can head on over to my Patreon page, linked in the description. And together, let's make this tour one to remember and finish the year off strong for the animals. There's a fire inside your heart, let it light up the world.